Welcome to my cello studio. I am Jeff Krieger, and this is a video on improving your sight reading skills. Sight reading brings together everything you have learned up to this point, and it is a very important skill of every musician. If you practice sight reading, you will gain confidence and have more fun exploring all kinds of music on your own. You can pause this video at any time to have a closer look at the tools that are mentioned or to practice a suggested strategy. The links to the tools are in the text below this video. The primary goal in sight reading is to keep going. Do not stop. However, in order to keep going, you must know your rhythm. Rhythm is first. Let's brush up on your rhythm using the Rhythm Randomizer tool to practice different rhythms. You can click on the measures to change to a new rhythm. This practice can easily be done away from the cello by tapping out the rhythms as if it were a game. Challenge yourself to improve your rhythm. It may take several days of practicing only rhythm before proceeding to the next step. You may also need to brush up, for example, on the meaning of a dotted rhythm, tie, or rest. After you feel you have improved your rhythm, you are now ready to continue with some sight reading. Here is an excerpt to begin. It is very important to give yourself a moment or two to look over the music before attempting to play the excerpt. What do you notice about the rhythm? What is the range of rhythmic values? That information will help you to select a realistic beat. Speed is not the objective in sight reading. Try to quietly tap out the first two measures in your head. Make sure you know where the main beats are in the most challenging measures. The next element to look over before playing is the key signature. What does it say? Will you have to be prepared to use the extended position to play some of the sharps or flats? Continue to look over the excerpt until you feel ready. What bowings and dynamics can you get the first time? With all of this in mind, now try playing the excerpt. But remember, do not stop, even if you feel you made a mistake. Make a mental note of any possible errors while you are playing. Just like reading a sentence from a book, always be looking ahead. Try not to change the speed of the chosen beat if you can. Good work. Now, in order to improve your sight reading, look over the excerpt once again. You may have noticed that certain notes or rhythms just didn't sound right. Try to make these corrections. Did you remember the key signature throughout? Play the excerpt again, correcting as many errors as you can and adding in any bowings or dynamics you may have missed the first time. The goal is not necessarily to get everything perfect, but to keep going. The more you practice sight reading, the fewer mistakes you will make on the first try. You will also become better at looking over the music before playing an excerpt for the first time. Now that you are on your way with sight reading practice, visit the Sight Reading Factory website to challenge yourself with more sight reading fun. You will also find fun projects to try in the text below this video after the tool links. So this is the end of the video on sight reading practice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this collection and come back often to listen again and check your progress.